Okay, so in this particular activity, you're going to look at evaluating sources. If you've had me for work, we've done some evaluating source activities. But let's do a quick overview of what that is, and then I'll explain the activity. I'm going to cut my face out there and look at, remember, we've looked at sourcing before. And sourcing is, before reading the document, look at your, you know, especially in the, in the context of point of view and historical context, who wrote this, the perspective, why was it written, when was it written, where was it written. Um, looking at these these factors, when, why, the, the five W's, when and why was it written, is it reliable? In other words, the, when you're looking at reliability, you're looking at, can we believe this 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 uh, source? Can we believe this author as a source of their of, of information? So if you look at this particular example, we'll start with this particular example right here. A 1995 interview with a worker who helped lead the strike in who helped lead the strike in 1983. So the historical question is: Was there a, was a 1933 labor strike in a New Jersey factory effective in getting better conditions for workers? And again, a labor strike is when workers join together and refuse to work unless their demands are met. So we're, your your job is to look at the strengths and weaknesses. Your job is to look at the strengths and weaknesses of this of this. Uh, source. So the source would be an 1994 interview, uh, interview from 1994 with the worker who helped lead the strike in 1933. So what would be some of the strengths and limitations? Well, the strength, of course, is that it's a first person account, right? It's a first person account. Um, the, the person, the fur the, the, the person led this uh, was, was a, um, helped lead the strike. So was there at the scene. That's a big strength, right? But the interview was conducted in 1994, right? The interview was conducted in 1994, but they led the strike in 1933. That's a good number of years away. So memories can change, right? When we look at the, we look at a term called memoir, right? And when you look at memoir, you know that memoirs are a look back at an event, not a biography, but a look back at an event. Well, when you have a memoir, you know that sometimes uh, uh, recollections can get fuzzy. So that, that could be a problem. So memories can change over time and recall may not be as accurate, right? Recall may not be as accurate as it once, as it once was. Now the worker helped lead the strike and that could also create a bias, right? From their perspective. So the worker, the worker, um, that could create a bias from their perspective, meaning like, um, they might be motivated to portray outcomes in the best possible light because they're leading this particular strike. So that can that can lead to a potential bias and affect the reliability. Um, so those are those are some limitations. But again, because it's a first person account, they were there. They they know what happened. So that's what we're looking at when you look at these other ones. Think about what are some of the the, the drawbacks, the strengths of them for, you know, thinking about the sourcing, who wrote it, why, what was their motivation, et cetera. And then think about, you know, potential bias that might affect the reliability of the document. So you're going to complete the rest of these um, as part of the, as, as part of evaluating sources.